this is where my dad and my family celebrated um, back on the day I was born. So obviously, very close connection uh, to this restaurant. So we are going to be dressing these pan-fried dumplings from Peking Gourmet Inn. And to dress these, you have two of the greatest condiments ever invented. This is a mixture of Chinese vinegar, which is a darker, like almost black vinegar if you've ever seen it, along with soy sauce. I'm not usually a soy sauce guy, but when you combine it with other things such as vine such as the vinegar, I think it's the perfect salty tangy combo. Um, so I like to just cut my dumplings open because it doesn't really adhere or get into the dumpling when you just do it while it's still closed. So this is all part of my process. And then they didn't give me any of the chili oil and hot peppers that I usually have. So I have some of uh, David Chang's Momofuku chili crunch here, which I got when I was in New York. Amazingly, I still have about half of it left, and this stuff is incredible, and it's actually partially inspired by the um, uh, chili at Peking Gourmet Inn, which I know from David Chang's uh, Instagram post when he first released this. So if I don't have the official Peking Gourmet, this is a reasonable facsimile for sure. And what I really like about this stuff is it also has a little bit more of a crunch factor to it which will be a great texture contrast with the dumpling, which is so nice and velvety and delicious. Dive in here. First bite of Peking Gourmet today. Mm. Even though they're not crispy on the outside, even though the dumpling skin isn't, you know, see-through thin, these are still some of my absolute favorite dumplings because the flavor is just unmatched. I don't really mind the chewy softness of the exterior because the inside is so loaded with that delicious pork filling that just matches perfectly with the chili and the vinegar and soy sauce mixture. Uh, it's just so damn delicious and packed full of flavor. And you know what, I'll, I'll be honest, I kind of like the like smushiness of the exterior just because it's so damn tasty, honestly. Those are definitely some of my favorite dumplings <clears throat> in the DC area. So this is the gourmet pan fried noodle this is the classic dish that we like never even come close to finishing while we are at the restaurant and always bring home for leftovers because they have such a giant portion and also because we always order a ton of duck and dumplings and fried rice, etc., etc. But we don't mind because this just reheats so well at home. You don't really have anything that's crunchy, so you don't really have to worry about it losing that or getting soggy. The noodles are pretty thick so they hold their own and stay kind of springy. And you can see that these are like handmade noodles. Uh, maybe thicker than you would expect. Thin noodles sometimes are like all the rage, unless you're talking about udon or something. But, oh man, are they good. The noodles themselves are just so flavorful and the sauce is so sweet and delicious. And you get such a cavalcade of different proteins in here. There's beef, there's mushrooms, there's shrimp, there's chicken. And then all of the vegetables provide some nice fresh crispness to contrast all of that. Otherwise it gets a little bit mushy. Uh, and also this is ripe for further condiment upgrades, such as some of the hoisin from the Peking duck or some more chili crunch perhaps, and even some of the vinegar soy sauce dumpling sauce. The noodles have such a nice toothsomeness and chew to it. The protein is all cooked very, very tender. Everything is coated in the sauce, which is definitely not a very strong flavored sauce, but it's like sort of that thick velvety sauce that just coats your tongue and has a nice savory flavor. The baby bok choy is one of my favorite vegetables, even if they're definitely too big for a single bite. I also like to put some little upgrades in there, some more chili crunch. I'm gonna put that right on top of the shrimp so I don't contaminate the rest of it. And I think that will go splendidly with these noodles. You know, they really go from like very good and solid on their own, but wow, damn. I've only had it with the regular hot chilies before. The chili crunch is really like next level because you get the extra texture, bo texture boost too. This can be a little bit repetitively mushy on the palate, so that extra crunch is just, oh. Need some veggies on here to make this noodle binge healthy. It really just comes in hot and provides the two things this dish needs the most. Some additional texture and some spice. 
that kind of breaks up the uh, monotony. It, it, it's a little monotonous, even if it is delicious. Not even close to making a dent in it. This dish is humongous. You probably noticed I am not the most advanced with chopsticks. While I can eat rice with chopsticks, it's a bit of an arduous process, so I opt to go full white American and use a fork for it. This is some of my absolute favorite fried rice. And you know, the fried rice itself is nothing that spectacular. I like it lighter on the soy sauce, just a good balance of texture. What really makes it spectacular is this pork. Oh man, they have some phenomenal char siu pork. So tender, so deliciously flavorful. Seeing that bright red exterior gets me so hungry every time. And this is another dish that is prime for some condiment upgrades. I love the little bit of sweetness, especially since it's a pork fried rice that some, a little bit of hosin brings. So those duck condiments are nicely multitasking here. And then also, of course, some more of the chili crunch. And now you take what's already like some of my favorite fried rice and make it, you know, just my absolute favorite. I love the little kick of sweetness from the hosin. Goes with it so nicely. Get the crunch from the chili crunch. It just all blends perfectly. I don't know why it took me so many visits to Peking Gourmet to figure out the delicious Hosen sauce is good on more than just the duck, but I'm just glad I did. That pork is phenomenal. One of my favorite things for sure. So this is the real piece de resistance of Peking Gourmet. As the name would suggest, the Peking duck there is otherworldly. I have tried Peking duck in several other countries, including in Beijing, where it originated. I still think that this is the best duck I've ever had. Something I actively seek out every time I go to Asia because it's one of my absolute favorite dishes, but Peking Gourmet in still takes the walls. It's no wonder that every president that the U.S. has had uh, since George H.W. Bush and, you know, even Jack Ma, the founder of Alibaba, all come to visit. You can see the walls are just lined with people, uh, with celebrities that have visited. I like to do a mix of some with chilies and some without. Uh, you have these delightful thin little pancakes and then a nice layer of hosin and they actually freshly grow themselves the cucumbers and the spring onions that are on here and then of course the duck and most importantly the crispy duck skin. I actually reheated it at home in the oven just to make sure the skin was crispy because that is so crucial to the construction and enjoyment of these Peking duck. I have chilies on this one, but I went a little lighter. I went one with heavy chilies, one with light chilies, and one with no chilies, because sometimes I just wanna enjoy the richness and deliciousness uh, and the perfect balance of a Peking duck pancake. And sometimes I want all of that plus it being spicy. Mm. There's such a delightful symphony of flavor and texture. The skin is perfectly crispy, heated up at home, the way it would be in the restaurant and the cucumbers and the onions have a wonderful freshness and texture contrast as well. Nice crunch from that. The hosin provides the sweetness and then the duck provides all of that fatty, rich goodness. It's just altogether fantastic. And then the pancake does a great job of not being overpoweringly flavorful, uh, staying nice and thin and just wrapping it all together. And this one has some of the chili peppers in it. So I'm getting a little bit of heat, not a ton, just a little bit. And I believe, yep, this is the one I really loaded up with chilies. That's the one I'm gonna dive into next. I don't know if you can see the little chilies peeking out of the bottom there. I like to do a nice base layer of all of the ingredients with the duck and the skin on top. I find that's my optimal construction. There's just no getting around that this is one of the absolute most delicious things I've ever tasted. There's a good reason why every family event any excuse we can think of for a special occasion, we go to Peking Gourmet and we order this dish. And it's never disappointed. And that's why this is one of my absolute favorite restaurants in the entire DC area and just the entire world. All of the other dishes, the dumplings, the pork fried rice, the noodles, that's all great. But this is really where they separate themselves. The duck is just otherworldly good. Mm. 10 out of 10, A+. Plus.